EA Sports. It's in the game. NHL 2003. Ooh Let's go, baby. Damn, the old inches were sick. All right, now that my ears have completely blown from the audio, <laughs> uh, we're gonna play some NHL 2003, baby. I kind of want to go through each game from like 20 years ago, and uh, I literally, uh, you guys watched my my <laughs> my last NHL video, but what was wrong with EA? Essentially, I said I had every game since 2003, so I wanted to go through and do a franchise for every game and see if we can win the uh, Stanley Cup with the literal literal worst team from that year so we're just going to use the base rosters because i literally don't even know if there's roster stuff on these things uh <laughs> crazy setting so skill we're gonna go difficulty we're gonna make this hard uh clock speed five minutes you can't go anything less season length 82 yeah best of seven keep trading on trade deadline on uh world north america that's so interesting uh overtime loss one point Starting roster current, uh, penalties, we'll just put it like there, offside, we're gonna put all that on. I'm gonna keep injuries off, just so we don't have to deal with it. Oh my god, look at these menus, dude. So the thing that really, I, I just fooled around with it a little bit. The thing that really got me, so, uh, circle is usually to go back in games nowadays, but in this one, it's triangle, so like, it's really gonna throw me up. So Carolina was the worst team in the 2002-2003 season. Uh, and they finished with 61 points uh, in the league. So we're going to do Carolina five years. Uh, we're going to try and win a Stanley Cup. It's cool because you can pick multiple teams too in this old franchise, which is crazy. Uh, so obviously there's no like 16 by 9 ratio. So that's why you can see the games like overlapped a little bit just so we have an HD version here. Um, but yeah, this let's just do a quick breakdown of this thing. So there is a calendar, but you literally can't do anything in the calendar other than go through each team and like cycle the the months so that's a thing uh team reports is interesting there's like hot and cold there's injuries uh it shows you your overall ratings three stars suspensions so there is suspensions apparently what i didn't know that was a thing there's hero players as well uh team arts nhl cards stat central roster so uh when you go into rosters you can literally create a player into your game which is insane uh view rosters edit lines trade players trade summary and jersey numbers uh there is no like free agents during the season the way to do that you have to go into trade players and literally it's a waiver list right there but there there's nobody here so so we're gonna try and work with these guys and make them a stanley cup team <laughs> This is like, it's so crazy. So there's best lines. We got Ron Francis and like Sammy Kapanen, Je Jeff O'Neill, Rod Brindamore, Eric Cole, like uh, the, the hurricane, like, like they weren't actually, like you can see our, our uh, bottom, our bottom lines are pretty awful, but like Bates Bottegla is a 77, but you can see like their speeds and stuff are crazy. Uh, what else? Potential wise, Bottaglia. Yeah, we don't really have Va Vasicek is like the only guy that has potential really in our bottom six. And then defensively, overall wise, our decor is not actually that bad. So we could we could work with some of this. Uh, potential Tanabe looks like a could be a stud. You can't even like view the players either. Uh, and then in net we have Kevin Weeks and Archer's Urbe. Holy, what a throwback! My goodness. Okay, so um jersey numbers you can like actually go through and do all the jersey numbers uh edit lines view rosters you can we can look at all the rosters which is overall here. i don't like this sound i don't know what the hell that is it's so annoying uh but yeah you can see our players here i think we can click on them actually yeah so this, this is literally what you used to get for the menu like it you can go through and like see oh man look you can actually go back and see like quite a few years Joe Sack and Rob Blake. Look at the Colorado Avalanche. Forsberg. Look at Detroit still has Steve Eiserman as a 92. Holy moly. Look at these ratings too. Alexa Yashin 95. Let's go, baby. Uh Daniel Alfredson. What a beauty. Um, Jeremy Roenick. So I think look at Mario Lemieux even. Like, oh man. It's it's pretty dope though. You go back and like look what they used to have. But like they literally had all of their all of their years. Uh, in the NHL. It's insane. Uh, there's a lot of cool players in here. Uh, trade players. So essentially, we want. Oh, 
I keep getting messed up with the buttons. Uh, so we want to upgrade, I would say at least our fourth line for the first year. So we got a 68 Drury. Uh, so we could go up to a 71 if there is anybody. Drury, who is a 68. And we can get up to a 71. I like how when you switch teams, it keeps it within the range that you're looking to, which is kind of nice. Uh, ooh, Netteros. Uh, yeah, whatever. Let's do it. There we go. Okay, nice. Uh, and then Daniels. I want to try and get like at least some of our guys upgraded here. Daniels. Uh, and let's do this. Anderson for Daniels. We're gonna make some moves, baby. Oh, there's a right wing Nielsen. Yeah, let's. You know what? Let's take Nielsen. Oh no, he's a right wing too. Okay, perfect. Okay, we're gonna do this. Perfect. Make a trade, baby. Boom. All right. So we've upgraded our team. I, I think it automatically does best lines. Like I don't even have to do anything here, which is wild. So we've upgraded fairly well. That'll help us for sure. Uh, and then in the draft, there's literally only two rounds. <laughs> so uh, it's very interesting. We got like power play, penalty kill. I like how it's all in one line. And there's literally a hero line, which is wild. So that's like when you're, I guess, losing or something or like tied, your hero line goes out, which is insane. All right, so that's it. Let's uh, let's start going. Yeah, the way to do this, there's also this NHL card feature. I guess that's kind of like what led into hockey ultimate team. Uh, team reports, we don't have anything to worry about. Calendar, we can't do. So basically you have to go here and like, scroll through everything <laughs> it's pretty wild all right we're gonna go to january 1st uh and look how fast this, this game sims as well look how insanely quick this is holy moly i obviously the newer games have so much other stuff going on but like oh man i mean this is like i, th I feel like the newer like nhl 22 is like pretty quick but all right we're at january 3rd i guess it just goes to the next game you have uh, we have 49 points, which is actually, like, decent. Oh, no, I don't want to back out. I keep hitting triangle, dude. I don't know why my, my finger goes to triangle. So we are second in the east. Holy moly. Yeah, this is when there was ties, too. So we have 49 points. Look at that. It's got a verse conference, too. Oh, man, that's so dope. Uh, the all-star game is actually also pretty neat because it's, uh, it's the old world versus north america which is really neat you get in like i think it actually picks players and stuff so it's pretty wild tread lead lines on march 22nd that's today okay so i think we can still make trades here uh trade players we can okay let's look at our lines here let's see what we're working with uh so rod rinberg is currently caught on a cold streak oh geez happenings 93 cool cool uh defensively yeah, it'd be nice to get like another good defenseman all right so hill <laughs> babel datsuk's in montreal all right yeah we're gonna make the trade for van vanin in i think I, th I like that i like that trade trade accepted boom let's go baby edit line for on the cold street kevin week is low longer fatigue Trade deadline is passed. Okay. All right. So I'm curious uh, where we're sitting in the standings really quick here. Uh, so we're still second place. We're at 98 points. Auto adds 107. Uh, let's finish the last game. I think we're going to make it. So let's let's sim 2-2 two, two, tie. Aaron Ward is on a hot streak. Okay. Oh, wow. It just automatically went. Okay. So we're taking on the, uh, the Washington Capitals here. Okay. So here's the playoff tree, Vancouver, Dallas, Phoenix, Minnesota, Detroit, Chicago, Colorado, San Jose, Ottawa, Toronto, Carolina, Washington, Philly, Pittsburgh, and Boston, and Montreal. Uh, Peter Forsberg had 99 points. Mario Lemieux had 97. Bonk had 96. Kovalev. Wow. Pavel Burry. Like, <laughs> so crazy. All right, let's do this, baby. So we're going to sim the game. There's no slow sims either. Okay, we lost game one. Uh, we won game two. Rubber, okay, we won game three. So we're up to one. We lost. So it's tied. Oh, Washington leads this series. Oh, no. Oh, no, we lost. Oh, no. Okay, year one, we didn't do it. San Jose Sharks. The San Jose Sharks won the Stanley Cup. Oh, man, that's crazy. 
All right, let's head into off season here. So here's the awards: uh, Stanley Cup, San, uh, San Jose, uh, Clarence Campbell, San Jose, Pittsburgh went to the Wales Presidents, Ottawa Senators, EA Sports Trophy. What the most three star awards during the regular? Alexei Koval, a couple of interesting. Lester B, Radic Bonk, Bill Masterton, uh, Philip. <laughs> <laughs> Peter Forsberg, William M. Jennings, Patrick Wall, look at that, sheesh, Hans Smythe, Patrick Marlowe, let's go, Frank J. Selke, Daniel Alfredson, Lady Bing, Alex McGillney, Vesna, Patrick Wall, Calder to Mika Aloma, Alomo, Ilomo, Alomo, James Norris to Rob Blake, Maurice to Pavel Bure, Art Ross Trophy, Peter Forsberg, Hart Trophy, Peter Forsberg, there we go. Uh, so interestingly enough, the off season, you can't re-sign players. Everybody is available to be signed. So you'll see in a sec here. It's actually insane. Like you can just go for anybody, uh, but you'll see. So view free agents. You got to do the rookie draft. There's a retired players section. Uh, so we can take a look at this. So Al McKinnis retired, Chris Chelios, Adam Oates. Michael Ranberg, Cliff Ronning, Igor Larionov, Claude Lemieux, Ray Ferraro retired. Oh no, Ray Ferraro. Oh, uh, view rookies. So because we we did so well, we're gonna be like pretty pretty high up. I would say like twenty in the twenties somewhere probably. Uh, rookie draft, so you can see your position before you head in. So we're twenty fifth. Okay, um, and then we can release players that we want. Might make sense to release somebody, right? Like this guy, the 250s probably. All right, we'll throw them down there, that's fine. Uh, let's hop in, it's very, I think there's like two rounds, so. Your team's roster is limited to 37 players and three goalies to draft you must un, yeah, we have to be under, so. We, we remove two players, we're fine. Uh, so rookies, it's it's like actually crazy. So you have to go by attribute, I think. Uh, but then you can look at like their speed. So sometimes it's not always better to take the best player too, because you have to like you can look at their potential. Aduna guy, that guy guy's available. Oh man, really? Overall. Oh, he's down here though, 68. Interesting. I I it's kind of hard to like draft though, because like you have to like look Arana, this guy right here. I think we're gonna take him. He's a 68, but he's got potential. So you can you can like look at all the all the players. It doesn't really like give you their overalls or anything. But and then this is the next round. <laughs> uh, Liang overall. I think we just pick him. He looks like ooh, that goalie's 83. Hold on, what's his potential like? 66. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna pick Liang. There we go, baby. All right, all right. So we got uh, Miss. His name is Mister Mister Guy. <laughs> Mister Guy, what a legend! He's six four defenseman. But then it resets every time, so that's super annoying. Uh, and then who's the other guy we drafted? Jimmy Lang. Jimmy, let's go, baby. Seventy two overall, eighty five potential. He looks really old. <laughs> he looks like he must like work. Is this a real person or he, did he just like work at EA and they just threw him in there? It's funny. All right. So anyways, uh, free agency. So you basically, it's very interesting. You have to like, uh, so you go by attribute. Ron Francis is, is available. So like he, you literally don't get to re-sign him before they hit free agents. They just kind of go into free agency. I don't know how long the contracts are. Like it, it doesn't even give you like an option. I'm not really sure. So if I pick Ron Francis. Oh yeah, so he wants to come back. You can see by their face if they want to sign with you. Like we could try and get Mario Lemieux if we really wanted. Brett Hall would be. Yeah, let's try and get Brett Hall. I don't really want to go for Lemieux. He can go back to Pittsburgh. Uh, Dan Foos, Phil Housley would be kind of cool. Yeah, let's just go for like Housley. Let's just try and stack up here if we can. Uh, and then maybe there's no there's no like there's no salary cap, so <laughs> you just you can sign whoever you want really. All right, well, we'll go with this for now. And then basically it signs them and it tells you if you sign them or not. That's it. Like it goes day by day. Oh man, what? Mario Lemieux out with Boston? Oh my God, no way. Vern Ron Francis betrayed us and went to New York Islanders. Are you for real, Francis? Oh, you. we are never making you the GM ever, okay? Hope you know that. All right, screw it. We're done. 
Have you finished signing for agents? I guess. Hold on, can I just go back? Release player rosters. I think we're okay. Ah, I'm so mad though. We didn't even get one, you know? No, nobody. So yeah, what, as soon as you do the stuff, it just kind of gets rid of it. It's not there anymore. That's it. We'll keep going, I guess. Look at that. We're into the next season already. That was so fast. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's look at our uh, let's look at our lines here. Best lines. So we got Captain O'Neill Brindamore, Cole Vasicek Bataglia. Oh man, our team does not look that great. Uh, our defense core is actually not bad. I don't mind it. Weeks is only an 84. Okay. Uh, we need to upgrade our second line. But Tagli is a 77. Vasicek. I mean, he's the one with potential, though. So I kind of want him to keep playing. Man, some of our guys just went down the hole here. Uh, Eric Cole's just declining. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Uh, trade players. All right, so we're going to try and trade the tag. Yeah. All right, so I think we're going to upgrade to Sean McEachern with the uh, Atlanta Thrashers. He's a 79, but, like, his speed and stuff is, like, actually insane. We're going to trade Bates Bataglia. Trade accepted. Let's go, baby. All right, next I'm going to try and trade Nielsen. So he's a 72. We're going to just try and upgrade him a little bit. Uh Oh, Victor Kozlov. Let's go, baby. Maybe. Yeah, let's do that for Victor Kozlov from Atlanta as well. Uh, we're going to upgrade uh, Svoboda to Hagman on Florida. This, like, Wilson dude here. Not great, but uh, definitely probably an upgrade for us. There we go. I would definitely say our strength is on defense and goalie, but uh, <laughs> we're going to see what we can do here. Victor Kozlov's on the first line. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jeez. All right, here we go. Year two. Let's go to December and uh, see how she looks. All right, we're just past halfway now. Uh, we're at 48 points. We're third. I guess we're at top of our division. Must be. Yeah, we're top of our division ahead of Washington. Okay. All right, we're at the deadline. Where are we? We're seventh. Oh, no. I mean, we could use a right winger. Maybe we try and upgrade. All right, so we're going to make with a deal with Minnesota to get Verta for Wilson here. Uh, oh man, do we we don't even have the good Kozlov. I thought that was Victor Kozlov. Son of a bitch. I'm gonna try I'm gonna trade him for Valerie Bray. We're gonna do this one for one. Boom. Trade accepted. Valerie Bray's a Carolina hurricane, baby. Let's go. We had Vacheslev Kozlov. Vyacheslav Kozlov, not not the other Kozlov, not Victor. Victor's there. We we reunited them. There's Victor. Oh, you son of a gun. All right, so we got Valerie Bray with Captain and Brynamore. All right, trade deadline is passed. We have 91 points, so that's uh, that's promising. Let's take a look here. Oh, look at that. We're back on top in our division. 91 points. Uh, solid. All right, so we're taking on the Islanders. Uh, cool. So we got LA, Minnesota, Colorado, Phoenix, Columbus, Vancouver, Dallas, Edmonton, Philly, Montreal, Boston, Washington. Uh, we got us, Carolina, against the Islanders. We got Buffalo and Ottawa. Buffalo and Ottawa. Ooh. Remember that? That used to be a rivalry. Buffalo and Ottawa. Uh, so Mario Lemieux, 106 points, baby. Let's go. Pavel Bray, 93. Nice, nice, nice. Eric Lindros, with Sammy Kapanen had 71, Verda had 62. That was a pretty good acquisition, actually. Good trade for us. O'Neill, Brindamore, Valerie Bure. All right. Year two playoffs. Can we win? We lost the game one. Okay, 4 3. Oh, we won game two. Lost game three. Lost game four. And we're out. No! <laughs> Boston wins the Stanley Cup. All right, let's look at awards here. Uh, we'll just kind of scroll through. President's Trophy, Philly. Nice. EA Sports, Marion Cesar. Lester B. Brent Peterson. Uh, Bill Master and Sandy Moger. What a name, Sandy Moger. William M. Jennings, Roman Czech Manic. Oh, my God. Remember that guy? Look at this unibrow. Con Smythe, Glenn Murray. Frank J. Selke, David Legwand, Lady Bing, Alexa Yashin, Vesna Chekmanic, Calder to Ken Birch, James Norris, Nick Lindstrom, Maurice Richard to Sh 
Miroslav Satan, baby. Chatan, just kidding. Art Ross, Amara Lemieux, of course. Art Memorial, Brent Peterson. Wow, really? Okay. Interesting. The Islanders went to the conference final, so we can't be too obsessed. You know. Okay, next next uh, offseason here. Mario Lemieux retired? Oh, man. Al McInnes, Chris Chelios, Brett Hull, Steve Eisenman. Man, the wings. Uh, Adam Oates, Weinreck, Gary Roberts, Scott Stevens. Holy moly. And Mike Richter. <laughs> wow. There's a 91 overall rookie. Holy moly. Could you imagine if you could trade for the first overall pick in this game? Man, where are we? We're 20th? Okay, that's not, that's not too bad. All right, here we go. So, speed. Oh, my God. Look at those guys. Forshaw and Rudre. Wilburn has the... That's good agility. Yaudry's at 71 overall. I think he was in 70? Yeah, we're taking him. Never know. We're just going to go with it, you know? We're going to speed 99. Yaudry's still available. Ooh. Yeah, I'm going to take him. YOLO. We got we got both players that we were looking at, so. All right, sign for agents. I don't need, like, and it doesn't tell you who you lost, which sucks. Uh, so we have Kapanen, Vatanen, O'Neill, Brindamore. Ooh, Vatanen's a, or Vatanen. Sorry, he's a 92 overall already. Oh, what a trade. <laughs> John LeClaire, Joe Neuendijk, Matt Schneider. Oh, man. Wesley, LeClaire, Neuendijk, and Schneider. Let's just, let's just go for it. Yeah, let's go for the goalie. Yeah, we're going to go for him over, uh. Let's, let's try. Let's see what happens here. No, nothing. Oh man, you gotta be kidding me. We just got fleeced. I didn't get anybody. Holy moly. Okay, I guess we'll go Valerie Kaminsky because like I don't, I don't know if we have any forwards. So nobody, nobody signs with us. I don't know, dude. Nobody. <laughs> nobody. They're all smiling at me and then they don't sign. Are you for real? Oh, we got Bert. There we go. 71 overall. Perfect. All right. Next season. Let's see if we can make some trades here. Because, wow, we are we in uh, dire straits here. I mean, our, t our offense isn't that bad, right? I mean, our defense could use an upgrade. And maybe that's what we look at. Bert. Oh, my gosh. No. Our goaltending is weeks. <laughs> uh, I'm going to try to do Ward for Gauthier. Okay. They accepted that. Nice. Grab check, maybe? I mean, I'm okay with that if they'll take it. Oh, yes, they did. All right. Oh, my God. Anaheim has 390 goalies? Oh, my Lord. Like, what? We're going to try and get this Graham guy from Boston. Nice. Got him. Oh, man. I wasn't looking at overall. I just traded an 81 for a 71. Oh, I thought I was looking at overall. Oh my gosh. We made bit we made a big mistake. Oh man. Oh, hold on. There's 285 goalies here. Yo, we're gonna pick this kid up. Yeah, we made a big mistake with that uh that Urbe trade. That was terrible. We're not looking too bad. Crab Chuck, I mean we just picked him up, so I can't trade him right away. That's like not that's not cool. Um, offensively, we're not terrible. We'll go to the uh, the halfway mark here and see how we're doing. All right, so we're at our halfway mark now. We're sitting 10th. Oh, no. I think we need to make some moves here. We need some something. We need something something, you know? All right, so it looks like Manny Legacy is still available on waivers. Or, I guess, free agency. So, I'm going to try and sign him really quick. All right, we're going to try Verda and Weeks for Nilsson and Kid. Oh, went through! There we go. Nilsson is on the first line. Perfect. I think our team looks a little bit better after the deadline. Um, yeah, I guess we'll have to see if it helps. Oh boy. Okay, we're thirteenth in their uh, conference here. Oh man, that's not good. We are pretty far back now. I guess we're not gonna probably make the playoffs. That's crazy, man. I'm going to see if I can make a trade for Eric Cole for Team of Solani, like one for one. Whoa, they took it. Oh, my gosh. Okay. All right. So acquiring Solani makes our team look way better. I don't know. I mean, maybe it's because he was cold. I'm not really sure, but uh, I like it. 
I like it a lot. Timo Solani is like one of my favorite players of all time. We did not make it. Oh no. 76 points. Rippy to the dippy. And San Jose wins the cup again. Poor Solani. Sorry, man. <laughs> Shoot. All right, here's the awards. President's Trophy Philly again. EA Sports, Forsberg, Forsberg. Bill Masterton, Sackick, William M. Jennings to Czech Manic, Con Smythe to Patrick Marlowe, Frank J. Selke to Forsberg, Lady Bing, Yanni Rita, Vezina to Czech Manic, uh, I don't know, Sergey Gontra wins a Norris, Forsberg with the Maurice, and the Art Ross to Todd Bertuzzi, Hart Memorial, Forsberg. Ooh. Oh, is it showing us like all the players to date that have retired? Oh, that's crazy. Uh, let's look at. Oh my God, there's a 94 centerman. What? Uh, rookie draft. We are sixth overall. That's all right. So we got who is defenseman? Okay. Spium. Hey, it's Austin Matthews. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess we gotta go with him because like he's the best, the best pick, right? We gotta go with Spium, I think. All right, next round. Mm, yeah, I guess we gotta go with Bush. This like that. All right, free agents. I literally don't know how this is gonna work. Captain and Vannon, O'Neill, Brindamore, Solani. We still have some good players. Okay, we gotta drop Trevor Kid just in case. Because we might try and sign. Hold the phone. Who's that kid guy? On waivers. Timmons, a 91 goalie? What? Oh, Martin Broder? Oh, man. Oh, definitely not. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what we gotta do. Marshawn sides with us. All right, let's do it. We got we got somebody finally. Okay, let's try. Nope, didn't get anybody. Oh my, Doug Wake goes to Boston. Come on, man. Someone. I don't know. Pellerin, we got another one. All right, we did it. <laughs> yeah, that 91 overall is still there. Okay. Nobody can sign him, right? All right, season four, baby. Rosters, trade players. I mean, we, we gotta sign that guy, right? Like, we have to. <laughs> we can't not sign him. He's a 91 overall goalie. Like, are you kidding me? Definitely wouldn't mind um, upgrading McKechern. Defensively, we're not terrible. Kravchuk could be better. Maybe that's what we do. So Kravchuk, McKechern, and Parsonin, I think. Let's see if we can trade for Patrick Stefan. One for one. Dang. All right, let's see if we can trade McKechern for Weiss. Whoa, they took it. Okay, noise. Let's do it. All right, I'm going to try uh, Parsonin for Kavasha. Oh, they took it. Whew. And we're going to try and trade Kravchuk for McCarthy. All right. I think uh, I think we've upgraded our team pretty good. That's like I think that's pretty good up upgrades, honestly. Uh, Marshawn Kavasha, Lang. I mean, I think our team's looking pretty good. Vanninen is a 96 now. Uh, okay, let's uh, give her. All right, so we're midway. Uh, we're sitting third, which is great. We're at the top of our division. Uh, right here, you can see we're four points up of Tampa. Uh, I don't think we need to make any moves. I think we just got to keep moving along here. So uh, we are going to do that. We'll go to the deadline and see how things are looking. We are still top of our division, 87 points, which is good. Uh, we pretty much, I think we pretty much have this locked up. 77 points. We'd have to like lose a lot here. All right, last game of the season. We're in the playoffs taking on the New Jersey Devils. All right, so let's look at uh, players' stats for the season before you hop into anything. Uh, this Wilkins guy had, had 117. St. Germain had 150. I feel like some of these might be the rookies. Marcus Naslin, there he is, 109. Todd Bertuzzi, let's go, baby. Yeah, it seems like the uh, some of the creative players just kind of take over. Pavel Bure. I actually wanted to try and get Pavel Bure. All right, so yeah, we finished third. We're taking on the uh, Jersey New Jersey Devils um, in the first round. Let's uh, let's see how she goes here. All right, three two victory. Broad Brynmore is on a hot streak. Let's go, baby. Five two victory. Two nothing victory. There we go. Three two. Okay. 
Woo wee! Actually curious because I never looked at our stats before we hop in. Uh Sviam, who's that defenseman, at 75 points. Uh Weiss at 71. Or Valerie Burry at 65. Captain at 54. Uh Vancouver and Edmonton. Vancouver beat Edmonton. San Jose beat Columbus. LA beat Nashville. Colorado beat Calgary. And in the East, we got Montreal over Toronto, Washington over Philly, Carolina over Jersey, and then Boston over Pittsburgh. So we're the only like home seed to win. So or like in in our division, sorry. Uh, yeah, Montreal's like crazy. So they have Pavel Datsu, who I tried to trade at one point. Matthew Schneider, Jose Theodore, who's a 99. What they got Martin Broder somehow? Oh my God, they got Theodore and Broder. We're gonna, it's gonna take a lot for us to beat them, I think. Here we go. All right, game one. All right, so we lost 2 1, game two, 4 3 OT. Oh, we came back 4 3 win, OT. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be a struggle now. We're down 3 1. <gasps> 2-1 in OT. Oh my gosh, man. 3-2. Oh, oh my gosh. Game 7. We came back from a 3-0 deficit. Can we finish the comeback? Oh, we did! Oh, no way. We beat them 2-1. Oh, man. That's crazy. We're taking on Boston. Let's go, baby. All right, so we got Boston, Carolina in the east. We got Vancouver, Colorado in the west. And um, this is actually the year Carolina won. So, I mean... This might actually be fate. I mean, if Vancouver makes it, like, it would be a Canadian team again. Obviously, uh, Carolina beat Edmonton in the finals there. But, uh, and they, the Carolina had, like, Cam Ward, who isn't in the game. So, <laughs> he doesn't exist. All right, game one of the East final. Here we go. Oh, we won. 4 1. There we go. Beauty. All right, we're up 1 nothing. Game two. There we go, baby. Game three. Oh, it's 2 1. Okay. Game four. Oh. Oh man, 3-2 OT, oh. okay, game five, can we finish it? Oh, we did it, we're going to the cup finals, baby, we're taking on Colorado, let's go. All right, so, so far in the playoffs, uh, to get to the Stanley Cup finals, Brindamore has 13 points, Kapanen has 13, O'Neal has 12, Solani with 11, so, oh my god, Timmins. Ooh. So Timmins has played 13 games, a 1.4 goals against. All right, baby, game one, Stanley Cup final, Colorado, Carolina, 3-2, there we go, game two, 2-1 two, loss, oh no, game three, 2-1 two, victory, we're up 2-1, game four, oh, we lost, game five, oh, okay, we're up 3-2, baby, oh man, there's no, like, way to jump into the game. To like see the Stanley Cup celebration, so I'm gonna play this final game. Um, I I'm on hard difficulty. Like I don't even know if we'll win, but we have two games to, to try. So uh, we're gonna give her live from the Pepsi Center. Oh man, can you just imagine Queens of the Stone Age playing? Oh man, I this this is, some of these older games have the best soundtracks too. Oh, they got fireworks in the arena. I don't think that's safe. Big saves. Oh my gosh. Is that Patrick Law too? We're taking on Patrick Law. Oh my god. Look at this presentation, baby. There's Rob Blake dingling. Oh my gosh. Dingling us right now. Woo. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Don't do it, Rob Blake. Please. Alright, let's see if we can figure out how to play this game. Oh, we're backwards. Okay, we gotta play. Gotta, you have to flip this. There's no always up. You just got to flip it every time. Okay, here we go. Oh, man. There's always heroes in this. Oh, no. Oh, God. It's so loud. <laughs> go, Solani. Go, Solani. Let's go, baby. Oh. And there's also, like, no wrist shots. It's like... Slap shots or like snapshots. It's kind of crazy. Okay, are they like playing a trap on us right now? Get out of here. Oh, Kapanen. Kapanen, baby. Oh, Solani. Oh, that's interference, ref. Oh, no. Oh, no. 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 
Oh, what a save! Oh my gosh. Oh, we broke the glass! It's mayhem! The final, the Stanley Cup finals are out of control. Oh, look at that guy's mustache. It's like, my beer is on the glass there. Jeez. All right, come on, Hurricanes. Let's go, baby. Kavasha. Here we go. Ooh, Judri are, are like one rookie guy. Oh. I think it's going to take a lot to, to beat Patrick Waugh, you know? No! Chris Drury, are you serious? Timmins can't believe it. How did that? Oh, what a bounce. No. Oh, man. You got to be kidding me. Oh, of course we're playing. We're taking on Rob Blake or uh, Joe Sackett there. Whoa. Oh, no. Milan Hayduke. He one-timed that on his offhand. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I can block. No, no, no. I don't know what I don't ah. <laughs> All right, we're going to game seven. After an absolute battle, we're going to game seven. We're going to be at home. Oh, man. <laughs> what a game. What a game. Let's go. All right, here we go. We're going to skip through the intro because we watched it last time. All right, game seven, baby. Oh, here we go. Got some. I'm figuring out the deeks now. Here we go. I'm going to get a penalty for that. Oh, no way, ref. It's the playoffs, dude. Two minute for interference. Well worth it. Clown. What? A, look at my guy laying on the ice, ref. Where's that penalty? Are you kidding me? Dude. Aussie Vanden, who was originally number eight, decided to move to number 80 when we got Solani, which was very nice of him. Oh, we need to score. Oh, no, where's my team? Oh, wow, what a keep. Oh, penalty's done. No. Oh, my gosh. Oh, he's not. He doesn't want to shoot. I couldn't shoot it. I don't know what was going on there. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's interference. Come on. You're kidding me, right? All right, here we go, Bray. Oh, ref. Uh, ref. Referee. Hello. I was getting attacked. That's assault. <laughs> Referee? Oh no! Help! Yo, oh, come on! I laid a big hit and I gotta fight now? I feel like it's been like this forever. Get him! Get him! Yeah! Slug him in the face! Yeah, let's go! Yeah, come at me, bro! <laughs> Get out of here, Sakic, you bum! Solani! Oh! Just can't solve Patrick Waugh, dude. Oh, come on. Oh, my. He's got a sniper thing. How is he not hitting the net? Oh! <laughs> Patrick Waugh is laying on the ice, so we can't score. Go, Ice. Go, go, go. He beat it. Oh, yes. What a beauty. Oh, no. What a save. What a save by Patrick Waugh! What a replay, too. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. Patrick Waugh is just unstoppable. I don't know what to do here. What are you saying here? Oh, my God. Off the post. Here we go. No way. Oh, my God. Oh. Patrick Waugh is an absolute monster, dude. Oh my god, he's not shooting! Some players, like, lose their ability to shoot. I don't know what to do. Oh my god, what a save. Yeah, it's like they, like, don't... They can't shoot or something. It's so weird. Oh! Let's go. Oh no! What a save! No, 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 no. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. No! <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh, we're going to OT. OT game seven. 
There it is. Okay. Oh! Why is my team on the ice? Oh! Yes! We did it! Rod Brindamore! Woo! We did it! Oh my god! <laughs> Game seven overtime, Rod Brindamore. There's the cup. There's Gary Bettman back in the day, looking fabulous in his tracksuit. Oh my goodness, great. Look at, oh my God, they're carrying him on their shoulders. Holy moly. Oh my gosh. Wow, we, 2006 Stanley Cup champions, the Carolina Hurricanes, we repeated history to a point i mean we didn't play edmonton but uh we we did exactly like it happened in real life let's look at the playoff tree really fast game seven ot that's what it went down to holy moly playing the colorado like colorado was insane man like they were a they were a team so let's let's see what we got here so stanley cup champions yes uh prince of wales obviously president's trophy went to the maple leafs uh ea sports trophy todd bertuzzi Darren Wilkins, Lester B, Bill Masterton, Joe St. Germain. Okay. Uh, William M. Jennings, Eddie Belfour, Con Smythe, Jeff O'Neill. Look at that. Oh my God. Yo, Jeff O'Neill looks like Billy Ray Cyrus. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh man, that's hilarious. What a beauty. Uh, Frank J. Selke, Steve Hines, Lady Bing. Oh, there it is. Steven Weiss, Lady Bing, Vesna, Felix Potvan. Uh, Calder, Joe St. Germain. Yeah, so he was he was a rookie. Uh, James Norris, Greg Sfim. Yes, we won a couple trophies. That's nice. Sandy Sandy Moger. It's like Andy Moog, but they like changed his name. Sandy Moger, I think, is also a creative player. Uh, Art Ross, Darren Wilkins. Okay. Hart Memorial, Darren Wilkins from the Blue Jackets. I think that's also a creative player. Oh my goodness, we won. We won the Stanley Cup. It took us four years, but we did it. <laughs> We took the worst place team, which is surprising because in real life it happened as well. Uh, so overall, look at overall stats. Peter Forsberg had 32 points in 25 games. Joe Sack had 25 and 25. Hayduke had 19. Oh my God. Trevor Linden's up there. Bertuzzi. There's Jeff O'Neill. He was our best player, obviously. <laughs> there it is. O'Neill, Brindamore, Kapanen, Solani, Hagman, Bushwitz, Bur Bra Valerie Burry, not Pat Valbury. Uh, 930 save percentage, <laughs> four shutouts. What a legend, man. All right, so that's going to do it for our first, uh, I guess, episode of the 20 year franchise challenge. I, I'm curious what you guys think. Um, Obviously, I guess 20 years would be exactly NHL 23. So that kind of hopefully this kind of leads into NHL 23. We can do that. But uh, yeah, I don't know. It's <laughs> it's quite interesting. Um, overall, like the gameplay is like it's not terrible. It's it's like fun and it's got it like definitely has that like throwback feel, obviously. Um, it's like. It's kind of like NHL 94 or 95, like on, on steroids, essentially. Like, it's just jacked up. It's like more arcadey. you got hot and cold streaks. There's goalie fatigues, which is kind of cool. Um, is it something I'd like to see in the game, in the newer games? Fatigue, I mean, I always thought it'd be interesting. But at the same time, a lot of goalies can play up to 70 games. And, like, obviously, I think with some of them, maybe get tired. But, like, there's, like, auto goalie rotation on anyway. So... I don't think it would really matter. Um, there's some like, there's some cool things in the team reports that I think is like overall just cool. Like if you just click team reports, you can literally just see your like snapshot of your team. So you got your top scores, you got your hot and cold streaks, injuries, ratings, like that's your team rating, your three stars and like how many people have gotten three stars. And then there's a suspension tab, which or a suspension thing there, which I don't know if that actually works or not, but it's kind of interesting if there was suspensions, you know, like I, I don't know. I find that kind of curious. Uh, the NHL cards thing is just kind of like the old hut. That's how you used to get like the virtual cards and they were kind of cool after hours. Oh, here's like a, here's a thing. I think, uh, this card will unlock after hours in the Easter egg menu, allowing you to play in an unlit rink with spotlights on the players. Oh yeah. I remember that. That was fun, man. Yo, I remember that. So like there's a, there's actually like a glitch in NHL like the newer games where like the ice in the whole rink is black and like it looks kind of interesting. 
but this was essentially that but with spotlight so that's kind of dope actually i remember that stuff i think it's pretty neat so there, there's definitely some cool things in this game i see so you can just once you unlock them you can go through and turn them on that's kind of neat yeah so definitely like some really cool things in here that would actually be just fun would add just like some fun stuff to the game i mean generally it's very basic it's a very basic mode there's not a whole lot going on which is probably why like i really i really liked how the sim itself was so fast but i think there's just less variables going on like you don't have to worry about injuries and chemistry and you know like all that extra like jazz that you have to worry about like you know like ticket sales and so like it's got obviously way less depth it's very basic uh but in general like it's actually like not bad obviously there's no like there's no salary cap so you know you don't have to worry about it the the free agency is super strange because there's no salary cap i don't know what like it's hard to say when players like <laughs> like when their contracts are up it just like randomly chooses people it looks like and then basically they give you a smiley face if they want to sign and then they just pick a team like randomly i think i don't really know <laughs> like i don't really know how it works exactly but um and even the draft like there's only two rounds you know like again everything's very basic it's um but overall like i don't know i thought it was pretty fun uh we obviously won the stanley cup in four out of five years um like in year four out of five so we completed the challenge the first one with the carolina hurricanes uh so if you guys enjoyed this uh kind of video and you want me to continue going through every game um yeah hit that like button and subscribe let me know in the comments what you guys think of this um, it's very interesting to just go back and revisit, and uh, I'm actually going to take some notes about things that I I really liked from this. Um, but yeah, that's it for me. Thanks again for uh, clicking and checking out the video. Big dubs for the Hurricanes in the exact same year that they won the actual cup, which is pretty dope. So hope you guys liked it, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.